So while I'm on the topic of criticizing more of the update, I think I bitched enough about gallery. The other thing I wanted to bitch about was the new crafting system they implemented. That's replaced the whole trade-in, trade-up uh, mechanic for, you know, getting rid of your, your old cards and whatnot. Do I trust the sparks? No, I don't. But I don't really have a choice. So, in case you didn't know, because you're living under a rock or something, or you just haven't had the chance to play Dirty Bomb yet. Okay, they're not coming A. The trading or the trading in thing got replaced by what's called a crafting system now. Basically you can mass eradicate or mass, you know, trade in your your shit loadouts or the cards that you don't want. Um for whatchamacallit. Sure, why not? I don't really care. All team members eliminated. For these things called um loadout fragments or whatever. I know they're called fragments. They might have a more official name than that. But they're called fragments. And depending on the loadout you uh, loadout card you get rid of or you recycle obviously, you know, you get more or less fragments. More rarer cards give you more fragments, whatnot. Though I do find it a little bit absurd that cobalt cards give you ten K fragments as opposed to brown uh, or browns bronze loadout cards that only give you 135. I don't know why that is, but I think that's kind of I think that's a little bit inflated, to be honest. Only one team member. All team members eliminated. We lost the round. So you get these you accumulate these fragments, right? And you use those fragments to basically craft a what you call it a you know a loadout card a new loadout card that you want. So, after you uh, make these fragments, you can trade them up to new loadout cards for the mercs you want. I think I mentioned that already before I got interrupted by playing the game. The problem that comes in now is that not only is the card selection random, as it always has been, that's, that's not really a problem, but in the general context of things, I think it is actually becoming, it is actually a problem now. Because... In order to craft said, um, you know, in order to craft said items, you have to basically um, buy these kings, things called weapon kits or whatever, because they're supposed to make your make the uh, the weapons that are supposed to be a part of your new loadout cards. That's where my biggest problem is, because in order to acquire weapon kits, you either need to pay credits for them, or buy them using real money. 
Now, each weapon kit, I think, is like 199 or something like that, so it's about 2 bucks. US, US currency might be different. It's basically 2 bucks equivalent of wherever region you're living in. But, you know, if you want to trade up to another card, it's... I don't know. I think I prefer the old method of trading up to whatever you want. Because... I want... Because there's really not a lot, a lot of cards that I really want now. Because now all it is is that I just want Cobalt cards just to look fancy. That's literally it. Except now, for me, if I want to craft a Cobalt card, it literally costs me 50,000 credits in order for me to do so. Whereas before, if I were to just trade up for one, then it only cost, it only cost me, what, 10k credits and like 6 gold cards. Now, I guess if you do all the math, it kind of turned out to be the same, I guess. But honestly, I think I prefer the old way. Just saying. I don't know. Eh. I suppose it's in the grand scheme of things, it's more convenient now because you can you, uh, you can literally just mass get rid of all the cards that you don't want. So I guess in that sense it's pretty good. But uh, other than that, I just don't really prefer it too much. Now let me stop talking and actually play the fucking game before I get my ass raped over and over. It really doesn't help that four of the other five people on the other team are at level 65, 38, 25, and 79 respectively. Whereas I'm the only person at over level 20 on my team. And we're on number 4 to 5. This is not a good day for recording. Let me just say. Yeah, so like I was saying, there's literally no point in us going mid because we're just gonna get our ass kicked over and over again. Pretty sure we hear someone behind us here. Someone switch teams. Nah, the level 79 on their team just left, and we got another guy on our team now. So I suppose it balances out somewhat. I don't really fucking know. What the fuck? I have no idea if that's actually going to work, but I An excuse to use up my RD strikes, because I really don't have a good use for them otherwise. Oh, 
That's why you never go mid on gallery. Except these fucky idiots are going mid over and over. No reason to go mid. You get pinched easily. There's no ro there's no easy rotation out of mid. Unless you go towards the enemy side of the, ha uh, of the map. It's just... Die. I figured no one would cover me. Med pack right here. And so this is why Gallery is not a very balanced map, because offense wins should win every single round, as we're doing right now. It's not really a contest.
So yeah, it'd be nice if they could fix gallery, but I don't know how they would fix it. But hey. I just played the game, I don't make it.